Hello and welcome to Blockchain Silver, the place where we analyze what in the world is going on in crypto. Today we're going to talk about how to get your digital assets onto cold storage. Warning, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It is best to do your own due diligence, form your own conclusions, and invest based on your opinion of the market. Cryptocurrency markets are highly speculative and may lose value. Be safe out there. All right, some of the benefits of putting your digital assets onto cold storage is that you're in control and possession of your digital assets. If an exchange gets hacked, if your account gets hacked, you could lose your digital assets. And so putting them onto cold storage, you're in control, you own them, you hold them, they're at your mercy. When you have your digital assets on an exchange, you are at the mercy of the exchange. Some of the drawbacks is that your device or your private key can be stolen. Place exchanges like Coinbase, they have insurance through Lloyds of London against hacks and theft. Whereas if you have it on a private key, you are probably probably do not have them insured. And so these are a few of the benefits and drawbacks of cold storage. So the first thing you do is you're going to join an exchange. It's real simple. You can join Coinbase, Poloniex. I live in the U.S. Um, I, I think there's another one the Winklevoss twins have. I think it's called Gemini. I've never joined that one. But my main exchanges, I like Coinbase and Poloniex. Those are good. And so you join an exchange. You're going to link up a bank account or a checking account or a credit card or debit card. And you're going to purchase digital assets that have cold storage available. This is very important. If you buy something and you want to put it on cold storage, first you got to make sure that cold storage is available for it. And then next, you're going to purchase that digital asset. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Ripple Stellar, those all have cold storage available. Those are good ones. So those are on an exchange and they have cold storage available. Some coins may be on an exchange, but there may not be cold storage available for it. And so you want to make sure that what you're getting, what you're buying has cold storage if that's what you're looking to do. And so once you do all this, then next you're going to purchase a keep key or a ledger. You can also purchase a Trezor. I have keep keys and ledgers. They've worked pretty fantastic. I like them. They're easy to use. Can't tell you much about a Trezor. But then once you get your keep key and ledger, you're going to write down your you're going to generate a private key and then you're going to write it down. This is important. Make sure you write it down, put it in a safe place. Don't keep it next to your keep key or ledger. So then now, and also don't keep this online, like on an Excel spreadsheet. You want to write this down by hand on a piece of paper or on a piece of metal. You want to like scribe it. The best thing to do is scribe it in the metal and put it in a safe or put it somewhere. And if something ever happens, then you've got a copy of it. Then next you want to transfer your assets from your online account to your private cold storage wallet. And this is real easy. You just open up your keep key or your ledger. You log on to your exchange account. You're going to click on your receive address from your keep key or your ledger. You're going to put that on the exchange to send to. And that's it. You hit send and it's going to take it off the exchange and onto your cold storage. Works pretty well. You know, some coins, it doesn't happen instantly. It may take up to 30 minutes. Uh, Bitcoin could even take up to an hour sometimes to get off an exchange, but it will come. You just got to wait and be patient. That's it for today. If you like the video, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you for coming over to Blockchain Silver. 
and remember to stay safe out there.